So what's up guys? So this is kind of like a random vlog, random like thing that just popped up. So I was in Mass, or I was on the way home from Mass to Portsmouth, and I was on the highway, and both of my subs under the seat in the M3, they kind of just stopped working. Like they completely just stopped working. So I came home this a few days after, and I'm I've just been listening to music without no bass. Kind of sucks, but. Uh, I just took the passenger seat out from the 335i and I replaced that sub with this sub, the broken sub in the M3 and apparently the 335 sub is like a packaged thing I think. So I replaced it and it sounds a lot better and I still have to replace the driver's side but I will take you guys to the 335 and I'll show you guys how to take the seats out, how to take the sub out of under the seat and vice versa do it with this and then blah 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 but i've noticed a huge huge difference with just the passenger side in and like the doors closed the windows down it sounds so good it sounds so much better and like the bass just hits so hard and i'm so happy i'm so stoked but today we were me and my dad we were gonna put two subs in in the back I don't know how big they are but we we're trying to find the amps for it and so I think that's gonna be like a future video that I can make if you guys want and I was excited for it but we couldn't find this um, the amps sorry yeah we can find the amps and I'm kind of bummed but I guess it's whatever if we can't find it we can't find it we'll find it later and then I'll make the video but let's head to the car so I didn't get to finish the um, video the DIY or install uninstall sub video because it got way too late and it got way too dark really fast and Alex Lou came over put his Instagram on his or on the screen right there the bottom left but you guys should check out his 335 it's so sick he got some new two-piece wheels and they look perfect but so last night I was doing the rest in the um, in the dark so I'm gonna take the seat out again and, to clean it and to show you guys how to take the sub out it's pretty easy but I know s some of you guys would be like hesitant to break anything but there's nothing to break so it's pretty easy but I'm gonna back in the car because I brought my husky I'm about to go pick up sky that's cool but kind of hairy right, let's get to it so if we move the seat back just like so here let me use this if you guys actually use this to move your seat back it actually moves a lot faster instead of this button down here but ooh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that but so there is a bolt here and a bolt here ooh that's pretty dark bolt there right there and if you move the seat up more or all the way up all the way up okay I'm sorry it's taking way too long look how hairy the car is but there's another bolt here in the back and another one right there so we got to take those out with this T50 right here and so now I'm gonna hook you guys up on the tripod and show you guys what you're gonna take out all right so we're in the car and we have to take these bolts out the ones that I showed you we have to take those out with the T50 and they're gonna be pretty hard to take out if it's your first time taking them out or taking the seats off, period. So you're gonna, you should put a lot of force into it, but also if you don't wanna strip it, put some force down on it and then turn it, which mine is pretty easy because I didn't tighten it that good last night. But I'm gonna take these off and then show you the backs. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I don't know how good you can hear me, but so I'm taking off these two screws. Like I said a million times, make sure you push the seat all the way up and do the same as you did on the first two bolts in the front. Put some pressure down on it and turn it really hard. You don't want to strip them because I don't want to know how much these bolts will go for from BMW. I'm sorry for the wind noise. It's kind of windy. And all the noise. The neighbors are doing lawn work. Planes are flying. Another thing. When you guys put the seat back in, make sure you line up the screws or the bolts. And when you tighten it down, make sure there's no silver showing. So what that is is when the factory bolted these down it already made an indent in the bracket the seat brackets itself so to make plate safe you want to screw it in and have the bolts sit flush like in the silver spot because it's already like I said it's already indented in which I didn't do that's why mine's all messed up but should do that so your seat doesn't come loose and you should be all set you can see all this hair all this hair so once you lift the seat up lift it up slowly and gently and there's wires from the seat and it goes down in there but this is a sub under the seat like I said I did take it out and I already switched it over but you want to take these screws out uh, let's see if it'll focus 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 they're all Phillips and once you take this out there will be the subs under this and then the subs take another let me see if you guys can see it another like star head thing I, don't, I have no clue what it's called, but you need one of these. Size, I have no clue. But after you take this out, you need this tool, and then it should come right out, and I will show you guys that now. Take all the screws out, and then you lift this, and it should just come out, like so. You can put that there. And then, so these star screws are here. There's one here. And then you lift up the carpet, lift this up. Oh, you guys are zoomed out already. So lift this, both of these up. And then there's one there. And one there. So there's four in total. After you take that out, it should pop right out. I suggest you have a flat head to go against these sides right here. Put them in here and then lift it up. And then grab this or if yours isn't sort of stuck in a way, you can just grab the center of the sub and pick it up gently. But after I get these screws out, I will show you guys where the wire is and everything. But after you take the screws out, like I said, you could use a flathead to peel it out like so. Okay, whatever. Or you can just grab it. So if you grab it, the wire will show right there and it is tucked in right here so what you want to do is take this little clip uh, focus take this little clip push it in and then it should pop right out so you gotta push this little pin in and it comes right out so there's a sub under your seat it's not too too shabby it's the one from the 335 and the 335 has a sound package so even though this one is a lot smaller than the m3 one it sounds a lot better and a lot more bass in my opinion and what I've heard and could tell so there it is the wires come under the carpet the carpets and then the seat wires are under here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry, this is really hard to do with one hand. But it's under there. 
and my question to you guys is should I change the seats from the 335 into the M3 because the 335 seats are red but obviously this interior isn't red the 335 interior is red but I was thinking about doing that give it I don't know some extra pop I guess but leave it down in the comments and to put this back in it's just obviously just clip, clip it in put the screws back make sure they line up so you don't strip them or put it in the wrong way and that should be it so that was the end of the video uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe and stay 110% later